What if you could connect your camera to your phone, your monitor, your MacBook, your iPad wirelessly? With the Axion Cineview SE, you can connect all of this all at the same time. The most important feature of a wireless video transmitter you might think is range, but it's not. Because in most cases, we're usually quite close to the camera. We're going to talk about the range in a minute. The most important feature is stability. Without a stable signal, a wireless solution is pointless. And this is where the Axion Cineview shines. It transmits the signal on a 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz dual band frequencies simultaneously for increased stability. Ability. It streams your signal up to 1080p 60 frames per second. You can obviously still film in 4K, but the image on the monitor is limited to 1080p 60 frames per second. Many of the monitors that we're using anyway is in HD, so the quality, the image quality you get using the Cineview on a 1080 monitor is crystal clear. Furthermore, as it does transmit on both the 2.4 and the 5 GHz network, the image is so stable. I have never experienced any kind of dropped frames with it, so I really trust the Cineview SE and the stability. As we've seen on many other videos on YouTube, the range on the Cineview SE is fantastic at 1200 feet, 350 meters, and sometimes even more. This is of course in a clear line of sight or with little obstruction. The range will be reduced if there are buildings or obstructions in general between the receiver and the transmitter. The range if you're using the app will be a little bit less than if you're using the transmitter and receiver. If a latency or picture delay is over 200 milliseconds, the human eye and brain will start to notice it. And this delay makes it challenging to, for example, pull focus. Pull focus. The Holy Land Mars 400S Pro has a latency of 100 milliseconds. But keep in mind that depending on what camera and monitors and the setup in general that you're using, all of this equipment adds to the total latency in your setup. And you might just go over the magic 200 millisecond limit. As the Cineview SE has an ultra low latency of less than 50 milliseconds, this problem has now been resolved. And the latency from your transmitter and receiver has been reduced by 50 percent and this will really help in the total latency in your setup to put it short it's easier to follow focus with the Cineview SE as mentioned in the beginning of the video you can connect the transmitter on the camera up to four devices at the same time just mix and match the setup that you prefer it can be on a shoot for example where you have one receiver with a monitor for the ac the client has an iphone the script supervisor an ipad and you might have the macbook pro but do keep in mind that the macbook pro needs to be an m1 chip or newer. You do not have to even have a receiver to transmit the signal from your camera. Using the transmitter on your camera, you can connect up to four mobile devices or tablets at the same time using the Axion app, which we'll talk about in a minute. Setting up the Cineview SE is super easy. You basically switch them on, they're gonna appear automatically. That's it, it's super easy. This SC version has both HDMI and SDI in and out on both the transmitter and receiver. But if you don't need to have an SDI connection, there is also an HE version available where you have both an HDMI in and out on the transmitter. So you can connect a monitor directly to the transmitter. Now you can also do this with the SE version if your monitor has an HDMI in and out. And that is what I am doing in this case. You can power the Cineview SE using DC input, USB-C 5 volts, and my favorite with L-Series batteries. Using my Sony MPF970 batteries, I can power this wireless video transmission system for up to 12 hours. One of the main reasons it uses so little battery, I expect, is because it's a fanless design. No fan. One of the main reasons I never got a bigger wireless video system like the Axion Cine i2S Pro was because of the size. The footprint is just too big, but check this out. The Cine SE is about 50% smaller than the Cine i2S and weighs only 210 grams. It's made of durable aluminum construction and this helps the heat disperse evenly where a fan is not necessary. These units make no noise 
at all. It has a 1.3 inch OLED display with an intuitive menu where you can choose the wireless video quality from high quality, normal and speed. And on the side of the Cineview SE, you also have a channel chooser. Channel chooser, choose the channel. And it is a little bit tough to change, but that's a positive thing, so that if you touch it, it's not gonna change the channel by mistake. It has these four antennas, which you can screw on and off when you are traveling or on the go in general. They're very sturdy, so compare it to, for example, the Mars 400S Pro. You can also disconnect these ones, but they are a little bit easier to break, if you like. I have already broken one, and that was being very careful with the unit. It. So in this case, with the Cineview SE, the antennas are extremely sturdy, so I'm not afraid that I'm going to break them by mistake. Using the Cineview SE with the Action app converts your phone into a full-blown production monitor with tons of features like histogram, waveform, zebra, false colors, anamorphic squeeze, LUTs, and everything else you'd expect from a professional monitor, all on your phone. One feature I love on the app is the onion skin overlay, where you can load a pre-existing picture, then compare or match the still picture with the live image that you now have on your monitor. This can be helpful if you're doing stop motion or any kind of effect shot where you need to match two frames. If you have an iPad, you can also multitask with a split view where you can have, for example, the script on one side and the live image on the other one. You can even stream from wherever you are using the app. Keep in mind, you do need to use your cellular network for that. So a 5G would be preferred, although 4G can give you sufficient coverage. In this case, I would change the wireless signal on the transmitter to speed to make sure you don't lose connection while streaming. Now, this is great if you want to stream on the go or if you want to share the image live with a client or director sitting on the other side of the world. Last but not least, you can record your footage directly to your smartphone. It's not going to be the same quality as your camera, but the results I've gotten are pretty decent. The Cineview SE is priced at about $650. Now, this is a lot of money. However, relatively speaking, compared to other systems out there, that is actually quite cheap. There are systems out there that you can spend thousands of dollars on. But in most cases, we don't need to have a zero latency, for example, and that the Cineview SE will do the job. I have never had problems in focusing, for example, using the Cineview SE. So the latency for me, and in most cases, is not going to be a problem. So check out the link below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.